Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Indusor Education. Continuing talking about partial derivatives. Um, this lecture is part of the advanced course of mathematics for high school students and teenagers. It's presented on unisor.com. I suggest you to watch this lecture from the website because it has notes uh, for each lecture, very detailed notes, so you can just use it as a textbook, plus it has exams if you are willing to subject yourself to tests. Um, and the site is completely free and there are no advertisements, so it's outside the financial realm. Now, um, the previous lecture was about examples of partial derivatives. So for a certain number of functions I was uh, derived the first uh, derivative for, uh, by, by the first argument and by the second argument. All functions were the functions of two arguments. Now, today I would like to continue taking basically der derivative from the derivative in the area of regular derivatives for the function of one argument it's called the second derivative. It's derivative from the first derivative. Now, in the realm of partial derivative, since we have two different arguments, I can have the first derivative by one argument, let's say by x, and then I can take the second derivative either by x or by y. Similarly, I can take the first derivative by y, and then the second derivative by x or by y. Now, the interesting fact, which I did mention in one of the previous lecture, was that if you are taking the second mixed derivative, which means one argument is x and another is y, or one argument is y and then x, the results in a very broad um, category of functions should be the same. In other words, the second derivative, which is first by y and then by x, or we're getting the first derivative by x and the second by y, the result should be the same. So now this lecture is to demonstrate that this is the fact. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the results of the first lecture, the previous lecture, where I just presented all these examples. And for each function I had both derivative by x and derivative by y. What I will do now, I will take the derivative by y from the der derivative by x, basically um, getting this, and then I will take derivative by x from whatever I used, uh, whatever I got for a derivative by y. And I will compare the results. They must be the same, right? So let me just illustrate that this is the fact. So my first function was And I'm going to use the results of the previous lecture. So dz by dx is equal to y divided by 2 square root xy. dz by dy is equal to x, 2 square root of xy. Now, this is what has been the subject of the previous lecture. I derived both of these. Now, what I will do. I will have the second derivative from this one, but now by y. So it would be d2 dy dx from y divided by square, uh, 2 square root of xy. Let's calculate what this is. Well, um, to make my life easier, I would put it as 1 half x to the power minus 1, 2, 1 half, right? This is square root of x in the denominator, so it's minus 1 half, times y to the power of 1 half. Now, I am, I am uh, getting the derivative by y right now. So this is a constant, so it's only by y. So the result would be by y. And the result would be, well, this is a constant, so it's 2 square root of x stays. Now this would be um, 1 half, so it's 2 would be here, and um, y to the power of minus 1 half. 
So it's square root of y, right? Am I right? Oh, sorry. Why do I have 2 in the numerator? It's 1 half. So, which is equal to 1 over 4 square root of xy, right? Now, this is my first derivative by y. Now I will take the partial derivative of this by x. So I need two d2 dx dy from x divided by 2 square root of xy equals 2. So again, let me just rewrite it. It would be x to the power of 1 half times y to the power of minus 1 half, right? And I'm differentiating by x now. So 2 remains. y to the power of minus 1 half is square root of y. And all I have to do is differentiate uh, square root of x, basically, which is 1 over 2 square root of x. So it's 4 square root of x, y, the same thing as here. So as you see, the mixed derivatives, first by x, then by y, or first by y, then by x, are the same. OK, next. So this is basically both, for illustration that the mixed derivatives are the same, and also just another practice in differentiating really kind of a straightforward thing, but it requires certain accuracy. So my function is e to the power xy. Now my first derivative by x is equal to y e to the power xy. My first derivative by y is equal to x e to the power xy. Now I would like to differentiate this by y and this by x and compare the results. So this is differentiating by y. So it's dy dy dx of y e x y. So we are differentiating by y. So we are basically considering this as a product of two functions. So it's a derivative of this times this plus derivative of this times that, right? So, derivative of y times this. So, x is a constant. So, that's uh, derivative of y is 1, so it's e to the power xy plus y and derivative of this. Derivative of um, exponent is this exponent times x. 1 plus xy times x to the power of xy. Now this we have to differentiate by x. Same thing, differentiating by x by parts. Oh, no, not by parts. Sorry. That's integrals. <laughs> um, it's the um, Derivative of a product, okay. So it's this one times this, which is e to the power x, y. Now y is constant, x is variable. Plus uh, x times derivative of e to the power of x, y. By uh, x, so that's y times e to the power x, y. And I have exactly the same result as before. So again, my mixed derivatives are the same. Okay. Two down, four to go. Okay, now my first derivative by x is equal to minus 2x divided by x squared plus y squared squared. 
and my derivative by y equals minus 2y minus 2y divided by x square plus y square square. Now this I will differentiate by y. So x is a constant actually. So d2 by dy dx. equals 2. So x is a constant, right? So minus 2x stays as a multiplier. Now here I have some expression to the power of minus 2. Now uh, if I have something uh, power minus 2 uh, I will have minus 3 uh, I will have minus 2 uh, times the power of minus 3 times uh, derivative of the inner function which is, well, um, I'm differentiating by y right now so x can be omitted so it's 2y Uh, 8 x y divided by x square plus y square cube. Now this I have to differentiate by x. Again, minus 2y is just a multiplier, that's a constant. Now, here I have basically similar thing, minus 2 as a coefficient, x squared plus y squared to the power of minus 3, times, I'm differentiating by x, so I have 2x here. And what do I have? Minus and minus, it's plus, so 2, 2 and 2 is 8, xy, yx, and x, y, x square plus y square to the power of minus 3, which is 3 in the denominator. Same thing. Good. Let's continue our struggle. Number 4. sine x divided by y square. Now my derivative by x is equal to cosine x divided by y square and derivative by y is equal to uh, minus 2 sine x divided by y cube. Now by the way, the previous examples were symmetrical, x and y. Um, now, this one is not. However, we still have to have the same result if we are differentiating uh, this by y and this by x. So again, we differentiate this by y, which means that which means that cosine of x is just a multiplier because x is a constant and we have to basically differentiate y to the power of minus 2 so it would be minus 2 y to the power of minus 3 right which is equal to minus 2 cosine x y cube now here I have to differentiate by x So 2 and y cube are constant, so I only have sine. So it would be minus 2. Derivative from sine is a cosine. And y cube is remaining. The same result. 
that's fast and simple. Okay, now this is much more difficult. So we have to be very careful. Z is equal to arc tangent of x square root of y. My first derivative by x is equal to square root of y divided by 1 plus x square y. And my first derivative by y is equal to x divided by 2 square root of y 1 plus x square y. Okay, now we have to differentiate this by y and this by x and compare the results. Okay, so d2 by y uh, y to the power of 1 half times 1 plus x squared y to the power of minus 1, right? That's easier for me. Equals. Now I'm differentiating by y. x is a constant. So it's a product. So it's first times second derivative or the second times first derivative. Okay, so y to the power of 1 half times derivative of this one by y which is minus 1 1 plus x square y to the power of minus 2 times derivative of inner function by y that's x square plus So what I did is the first times derivative of the second. Now the second times derivative of the first. The derivative of the first is uh, 1 half y to the power minus 1 half times 1 plus x square y to the power of minus 1 equals 2. Okay, let me now convert it into regular... Uh, fractions. So this is minus square root of y x square divided by 1 plus x square y square plus 1 over 2 square root of y 1 plus x square y am I right? I think I'm right now let me get to the common denominator the common denominator would be 2 square root of y, y plus x square y square. So I need to add here 2 square root of y, and I will have minus 2 x square, square root of y, and square root of y is y. Now here I have to add 1 plus x square y, because this is a square, and this is a single. So plus 1 plus x square y. So what will be? Well, this is minus 2x square y, this is plus. So that would be 1 minus x square y divided by 2 square root of y, 1 plus x square y square. That's my answer. I'll put it here. 1 minus x square y divided by 2 square root of y 1 plus x square y square okay
Now let's do it through a different procedure. We will differentiate this by x. So it's uh, d2 by dx dy. So, and here I will have x times 2 times y to the power of minus 1 half right since it's here 1 plus x square y power minus 1 okay so um, differentiating this by x is okay y is a constant so 2 y to the power of minus one half stays y two it's one half sorry it's one half now here i have um the derivative of this which is one times this so i will have this plus Now, uh, that's derivative of this times this, plus x times derivative of this, which is minus 2, no, sorry, it's minus 1, times square and we are differentiating by x so it's times 2x y is a constant something like this is that right so what do I have okay this is 2 square root of y it remains now this is the common denominator 1 plus x square y square now here this is 1 over x uh, 1 plus x y x square y so to have it um, is a power of 2 I have to multiply it by 1 right like this minus minus 2x square y and what do I have? Have 1 minus x square 1, x square y, exactly like this and exactly like this. So as we see, it's exactly the same. All right, that's good. Now the last one. my function was y to the power of x my first derivative is equal to uh, y to the power of x logarithm y and my first derivative by y is equal to x y to the power x minus 1 now this I have to differentiate by y so d2 dy dx so that's what differentiate by y so that's a product so first I differentiate this one and x is a constant so that's x y to the power x minus 1 times logarithm a plus y to the power of x times derivative of logarithm is 1 over i now y to the power of x divided by y it's y to the power of x minus 1 so y to the power of x minus 1 goes outside and inside I have x logarithm y plus 1 now this one I have to differentiate by x so again that's a product
Um, first, derivative of this times this, which is this, uh, plus x times derivative of this, which is y to the power of x minus 1 times logarithm y. And y to the power x minus 1 outside, 1 plus x logarithm y, which is exactly the same as this one. All right. So we did six different examples. In the previous lecture, I um, have calculated um, partial derivatives by x and by y. In this lecture, from every derivative by x, I calculated derivative by y, and for, from every derivative by y, I calculated derivative by x. And in these two cases, I got exactly the same result. No, this is not the proof that d2 dx dy is equal to d2 dy dx. However, it actually brings our um, feelings warmer and warmer that this probably is correct. We'll talk about this later. Anyway, that's it for today. I do suggest you to go to the website uh, and notes contain all these uh, examples. Try to do it yourself. So differentiate everything yourself. Make sure you do it accurately. You know, sometimes even if it's not very creative and basically taking derivative is not very creative, if you know more or less what's the derivatives of the main functions, but you need some accuracy um, and uh, make sure that you have exactly the same results when you're differentiating in different orders. Uh, that's it. Thanks very much and good luck. <laughs>